Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Farewell to arms. We are gonna be playing as the Gunslinger. The update's been out for a little bit now. I do have the VOD of me unlocking him. I it might not quite be out yet, but it will be out. So if you're curious about the little process, how I went to get him unlocked, that will be out on the channel soon. But we will play him here. And I will spoil him. I mean, you clicked on the you clicked on the video that has Gunslinger in the title and the thumbnail, so you probably are well aware of the fact that there's going to be information on the character in here. So, what's weird about him? What's different about him? He has a gun that he throws at the end of the clip, which I think stuns? We'll find out for sure. It, I believe it stuns. It definitely does damage. But in addition to that, the other thing he has is Lich Eye Bullets, which are... Ridiculous. They are insane. What they do is they make it so every time you pick up a gun, if that gun has a synergy, you just get that synergy. You don't get the extra item. Like, you don't... If it's, uh... I don't know, what's the... If it's Phoenix, you don't literally get whatever hot lead or, or what it is that gives you the Phoenix synergy or something like that. But you do spawn the Phoenix or whatever. I, I mean... To be fair, I don't actually know if that, if that one works, but that's the gist of it. You don't get the extra item, but you get the synergy, regardless. Or maybe a good one would be like the, the Void Core stuff, the Void Core Assault Rifle. If you have the Void Core Assault Rifle, you will normally spawn the... And the shotgun, you spawn the shotgun surrounding you. But in this with this character, you would pick up the Assault Rifle, and you would automatically get the synergy that has the shotgun surrounding you while you have the gun that fires when you reload, stuff like that. But you would not actually get the Void Core shotgun. So it's kind of like that. It's The character... The runs that I've had with it so far have gotten a little out of hand in... Quite honestly, amazing ways. To be real, his, uh, his starting gun is not too shabby either. I don't know if he's got any downsides to him. Looks like he might... He fires faster after a dodge, too. There's a couple guns in the game that have that effect. I don't think it's all of them. But it's pretty wild. First starting gun. It's really, really good. It's not quite on par with... Uh, yep, it is a stun. Can we talk about that? That is just... That's too much, my dude. Too much, my dude! As far as a starting weapon, it's not quite, uh, not quite blasphemy tier. Wait. Does the throne gun reveal secret rooms? I'm assuming no. But we don't know yet. We don't know for sure, I guess. Uh, but yeah, blasphemy is probably still the strongest starting weapon just because it's wild. Robot's probably still better than this, but it's... Seems like it's doing a little bit more damage, but has less shots in the clip than the robot's gun. So maybe, maybe it's better than robots. But I, I still think it's a little bit under those. However, his passive is the thing that shines. It, it can get out of hand. Like That being said, you could get a run where the guns you have just don't really have synergies with big consequences. But I think, for the most part, they will. Let's get that sling, because I think that there's... There's a synergy with the sling and the bow and arrow. But I think that might apply to the bow instead of the sling. Either way, it's a really good item to get anyways. Doing the bonus damage to bosses. It's good regardless. So I do want it. Whoa. Holy moly. I'm, I'm into the addition of this character. Gotta say. I think as a whole, even though... Ooh, doing it anyway. Synergy. What is the synergy? Okay, that's right. It doesn't tell us what the synergy is. That is that is one thing. We don't know what it is. So unless we already knew what synergy the Cobalt Hammer has, we're going to be a little bit in the dark. We could sit here with the wiki open and just literally look at every synergy in the game, but I think we're just gonna have more fun playing it by ear. By ear. So we could get the sling, get the key. It is a green chest passive. Normally I dig passives more. Oh. But on this character, you have extra reasons to, to go for the guns. I'm trying to see if I can finish him off at the same time there. 
Cobalt Hammer is a red chest gun, which that tier apparently across the board got buffs. I'd say Cobalt Hammer is one of the ones that it's pretty, it was always been pretty good for damage, but it also just, it never quite, oh, holy moly, never quite was enough for me, like with the ammo. So I don't know, maybe it's been charged, changed, charged, changed, charged. Scattershot has apparently been buffed. We will see. Yes, I know we could have used the little bomber. And not enough. Never enough. If we didn't break the water barrel, we can go to the sewers here. Oops. Can we, though? Can we, though? All right. So the king bomber synergy we have here with the crown on it. Well, first of all, it might even have two synergies. I think that it has a synergy where it shoots out two shots, and we have scatter shot now, and it looks like we might have the ice bomb synergy. Oh my goodness. Holy mole. But the king bomber synergy makes it so whenever we shoot an enemy, or whenever we kill an enemy with it, we get a lot of extra money. So we can strategically use it to, uh, to farm like crazy. But apparently scatter shot's good now. Big if true, because it always, it was always a shame. It was always a shame to get scattershot. In fact, let's let's try things out here. That was very surprising that that was not a hit. If our standard is usable, it's so usable. Scattershot, it definitely feels changed. It definitely feels changed. Normally, it gives you a, a damage downgrade to go with all of the, uh, the extra bullets. If it still does give you one, which I'm sure it does, it seems a little bit more forgiving, which it, which is great, because I've always said it's an item that multiple shots is such a fun thing to get. You want it to be good, you know? You want it to be actually, like, a fun thing to have, because it seems fun to have. Whoop. So the fact right there that our standard is indeed working pretty well makes me rest easy. I think we can I think we can have a bang and run like already. I'm 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 pumped. I'm pumped. We should be swimming in money. We have scatter shot and it's good. Hubba hubba. Meat bun. Hmm. Okay. So meat bun gives you double damage, but as soon as you get hit that goes away. That is very stressful for a young Rito. This is a waste, but I'm just curious. Very stressful for your for a young Rito, but I think I will pick it up and I think I will use it. And I think I'll do that immediately. Why not? Let's start the stress train. Oh, that's why not. I'll start the tr stress train pronto. Let's feel freaked out. Alright. Boom. There we go. It also does heal you by one heart, but that's not really the, uh... Not really the thing with it. Table tech stun? I'll take it. I'll dig it. That makes it so every time we flip a table, we, uh... Guess what? We stun! Are we really doing double damage? I mean, this is our standard, so I guess I can't be too hard on it. We're gonna get hit immediately. I... Guarantee it. It's the Rito guarantee. We will get hit. We will lose it. We will cry. You know the drill. You know the drill. But, you know, we can use the tables definitely to our advantage. Because Table Tech Stun can go a long way. Okay. We can just pick up this, too, for extra stress. Why not? Here's the thing. Okay, we'll go to the second secret floor if we can make it there without getting hit. Let's add to the stress. Why not? Why not? That's always... That's just the answer. Ooh, are you, do you have stress problems? Do you have problems with uh, managing anxiety? Just pile it... Pile more on. That's just... That's all you gotta do. You just gotta... 
you got to stress yourself out even more, and eventually you'll just feel so numb that it's like uh, you have no problems at all. Bada bing, bada boom. This is a lie. Do not overstress. Huh. God, I'm. I. It might be my favorite item change of the whole thing. I thought that it was the Vorpal gun, Vorpal bullets being a little bit less flashy, or maybe that it was the Volver being a little bit better. But no, you know what? Scattershot is usable, suckers! This feels like it should be doing more. I mean, it's not that it's like... Not that it's doing bad or anything. I just feel like with the scatter shot being better and we're hitting with all the shots. Yes, I know you can charge this, by the way. I just think that uh, we should maybe be mouthing them even more. A little bombed. Or maybe Cobalt Hammer is not, not as good as I thought. Is this actually the AK-47? It's the JK-47. It's the JK-47. I have no idea if this is only a joke. Noodle shaped like a gun frightens enemies. Long, flat gun shaped like noodle. Gun shaped noodle. A staple of gun dead cuisine, however, gun dead have culturally embedded fear of being hit by a spinning gun noodle. As adolescent gun dead claim that the limp and wiggly properties of the noodle are transferred to new carriers on contact. Okay, so maybe there's an actual use to it. Question mark? On reload? They're, they're af afraid of it spinning and hitting them, so I guess we could... It's gonna get us hit, but... Oh! Banging. But we could try? We can definitely give it a go. See if we can slap them with the noodle on the reload. My best, 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 best bet for making use of it. <laughs> it does it every single time. Also, there's a, we do apparently have a synergy. Actually, not bad right now because of our uh, all of our buffs. I love it. We can actually use this gun. I mean, I don't know if we should. Because we definitely have better things. So the reload scares them. It does. I see that. I mean, that's some that's something. Not a big thing, but it's it, it, it's we can make we can make use of that, I think. JK. Junkie Kong. Hook. Dude. Stupid. Stupid man! Also, the blue gun is killer. We have all of the high stress things going on right now. Winchester, I don't know if there's a good synergy with that, maybe. But this is insane damage. Insane damage, because the balloon gun is already good. Nail gun, there's a synergy there. All like all the brown chests are super usable now as the the gunslinger, and that is amazing. Oh. So every once in a while we just shoot out the random AOE. Is that the case? I think that's there's two synergies going on. There's the one that has the the hammer synergy, and then there is also the armor of thorns synergy going on. We got both of them, both of them. So I can imagine a gun like lowercase r that has a bajillion synergies would maybe pop off like crazy. Or maybe not, because I don't know that they necessarily stack that. Oh no 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 that's fine. I mean, that's normally a synergy with Little Bomber, but we already have that synergy. Uh, it's something. It's something. We can use it. I'm not happy. I am very disappointed. My day is ruined. 
but we didn't have a space bar item yet. <laughs> so we can be okay with that. Anywho. What do you got for me? Punk. We got gold amulet, reload stone. A lot of good stuff. I'd, I would dig the gold amulet. I think that that's maybe the only one we could possibly get. And even then we need to get a 50 shell drop. That doesn't seem likely. Could happen though. Stranger things have happened. In fact, I saw it on Netflix. Yeah, with this being the last, <laughs> the last of the rooms, I'm not thinking so. This is killing it, though. This is killing it. Meat Bun can probably make anything look good, but this is killing it extra. We almost walked into the room and exploded thanks to our nail gun synergy, though. So I am now slight, fr slight fright. Key. No key. No key. Alright, I think we should probably just fight with the balloon gun. We'll be doing a lot of damage, but the boss damage cap is still a thing. So, we won't immediate kill. Get over here, punk. Walk into my tornadoes. We have blank still. Got blank still. Got blank still. Got blank still. Don't need him. Don't need him. Brick of cash. Okay. Did we find the secret room? We did, right there. Okay. Well, we might as well buy a key then. This should be, uh... Oh. Ooh. What is the synergy on the dueling laser? What on earth? Anyway, let's pop on down to the second secret floor here. We will go there. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll we're going to skip the rat, obviously, because we can't go. We spent all our money. Maybe we'll go to the, the new floor, but we've been going a lot. We've been going pretty much every run. I do want it to stay somewhat special. Jesus. I have no idea what the synergy with dueling laser is, but it's it's so good normally. Like it's already amazing. So any kind of synergy, I'm excited. Maybe overkill. But I figure as long as we have, we do have meat fun, so we might as well just swing our our guns that are not as good for now. Oops. With the synergy, even with the synergy, it's probably not one of our top guns. We should be using Lil Bomb, right? I know I am wasting money, in a sense, by not using it. There's something about how slow it is, though, that gets me. Huh. Are they not dropping extra money, even, though? I mean, it, I wouldn't be completely baffled if it there was something weird going on because it has so many synergies. But it does have the visual of the King Bomber synergy, so you would think. Farm away. Farm on. It's going to be the slogan for my new uh, farm Farmville type game. Just farm on. Whoop. Let's answer some Discord questions, why don't we? If you want to have a question answered in the video... Why don't you join the Discord? You can just pop in with the link in the description and ask away there. Jacob asks, what is the last time you, when is the last time, oh my God, you played a game with an actual ending? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is an amazing one. Uh, the last time, I mean, I literally did just play a game called TikTok A Tale for Two with Orbo Potato on Twitch.tv. Gotta throw all the T's in there. And that, that game was only like two hours long. But, I, yeah, I don't play a lot with ends right now. I, it might, I, I've started a lot of games with ends, but I definitely don't finish a lot of games with ends right now. But, I mean, I started, I've started a lot of, like, Nintendo games. I started, what else? The last game with an end on my channel that I 
finished was was Donut County. You can see a trend. It's games that like <laughs> only last about a few hours are the games that I can complete. I just don't have a lot of time to, to play things that I'm not doing for YouTube and Twitch right now because I'm trying to keep up the uh, keep up the crazy pace. Make sure people always have something to watch. And as a result, yeah, I just I don't play a lot of stuff off camera. I definitely don't play Enter the Gungeon off camera. I get, I get that question a decent amount. Definitely don't play... Uh, oh my god, I just realized Scattershot. And it's homing and it has extra shots in it. This is a godsend. OP, OP, OP. But we should farm some money so that we can buy out all the blanks from the shop. Because I'm, I'm like slightly worried that we will lose our meat bun to the old king. Just because that's a very logical place to lose it. Like it makes a lot of sense to lose it there. But I also just wanted to use that there. Ugh. Okay, thank you for the extra key. I do appreciate that. Shadow bullets. I love shadow bullets. And we know that that other chest... Okay, that was our... Oh, never mind. <laughs> we already opened that. It's pretty cool that we get double items from Alburn now. That is pretty crazy. We got the dodge power up and, more excitingly probably, the, uh, the fancy dancy gun knight armor. Should we do it? I'm gonna do it to... I, it's stupid looking, but I don't care. I just wanna save my meat bun. How much is the key, though? Okay. I, I do just want to... <laughs> 10 out of 10 teleport. Just want to save the meat bun. This is a pretty good one. With the synergy. Alright, so... I'm thinking this is going to be hitting the damage cap. Just got to pay attention to when we ought to blank trying to save as much as we can. That was a blank. Dear God. Frightening! Frightening! Please no. Please no. This could go bad. This could go bad. Don't need to yet. Ah! Please. 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 Not stressed at all. The circle won't go away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, we did it. We did it. We did it. Hot diggity. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity do. Definitely needed both those blanks. This is an amazing synergy as well. Hubba. Holy moly. All right, we are out of here. We are kicking a lot of butt. Jaxo Cream asks, are you a fan of the Borderlands franchise? And if so, are you excited for Borderlands 3? It may be surprising to hear based off of what I just said, but I, I, yeah, I actually, I, well, I feel like a poser saying I'm a fan of the franchise when in reality, I, I played the first one a ridiculous amount, insane amount. Like it was one of the f one of the only games that I've gotten like all of the achievements on and stuff like that. Oh my god! No, oh, not like this! Not like this! One of the only games I've gotten all the achievements on stuff like that. But uh, the second one I only dabbled with just a smidgen. But the first one I adored so much. And oops, you know what? I I might play the third one. Will I play it on the channel? I I don't I don't know. Don't know if it'll quite really fit, but let me know what you guys think. So there, there's there's wacky guns in it, that's for sure. So maybe? I'm probably going to play it. I don't know if I'm going to play it on the channel, is, is effectively my answer to that. Alright, we gotta. D blanked and paid. So we just got money and we lost A blank. Just one? It's not that big of a deal. Especially because we could... I don't know how much money we had, but we could probably afford a blank with the money we got. If we really, really wanted it. Origani's really good. I'm gonna just go with another key, though. Not a fan of this situation. Not a fan of this situation. 
that's how we're gonna lose it. That's how we're gonna lose it. A Blobulon being pushed into me. That's the way it's gonna go. He's just gonna get pushed into me. That's so sad. That is so sad. I don't think we really have anything else to fill up besides the ma nail gun. The mail gun. That's the mailbox. That would be a really fun one to potentially get on this run. What do we even fill? Because I think there's some, there's a lot of synergies with the, the mailbox, isn't there? Or at least there's definitely two. <laughs> definitely two, I know that. There's one with the box, one with the owl. I think there's one with the new with a new item as well. Man, I'm sad, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. Goodbye, meat bun. It's okay. We we grew up. We don't need meat bun anymore. We have a run that is so strong that meat bun is just frankly overkill. We're gonna be hitting the damage cap anyways, and I I don't even think I'm lying there. I don't think I don't think that's a stretch. Pretty sure we're gonna be doing about the exact same amount of damage to bosses because of the old damage caparoo. All right. So we should stay on fire. I don't know if we're hitting him, but it kind of looks like we're doing extra damage. But yeah, he definitely he stays on fire underground there. Or wherever it is he spends his time. Maybe his vacation home in Cabo. I don't know. He's a private guy. He doesn't share that with the world. Man, I'm kind of kind of looking for for pedestal mimics at this point. You do get an extra item, and that is amazing. Should we? Maybe maybe we can farm with money. We can really be a lot more free now that Meat Bun is gone. Stress be darned. Stress stress be danged. It's not as big of a deal anymore. We can get hit. We can get hit and be pretty much completely fine. So if you don't know, if you're, for the gun initiated, Hyperlight Blaster is a gun that does a lot of damage, but it, it it runs out of ammo really quickly. There's only 18 shots, but as soon as you hit an enemy, you get a shot back. It has an absurd synergy with Scattershot because of it. I mean, you can tell. It makes it so uh, any one of the hits gives you ammo back, which means you don't have to be that accurate. And the synergy of the light gun or uh, the hyperlight blaster is the fact that it homes in. It's like really aggressive homing, and it gets more ammo capacity. It's pretty nuts. Those two things together are run shapingly beautiful. We don't need anything else on this entire run. We could we could skip everything and just go to the lich, and we would win really easily right now, guaranteed, guaranteed. You wouldn't need anything else. We can't go to the rat. We don't have a key. So I guess it's to floor four with me. Chauncey's Toaster. Chauncey's Toaster asks, Hey, Rita, what is your favorite show? Uh, for, I'd say for the... It shifts around a little bit, but for the most part, it's relatively... Uh, like, the, the answer that I t typically give is the show Community. Is in my favorite. So good. So good. Huh. I feel, I just, I don't know. It feels like a show that tackle tackles TV in a way that I just don't think we'll see again for a long time. Which is a bummer. But it's so good. Very good. Highly recommended. Um, I was, I don't think I needed to use a blank there. Like, it's fine if we take a hit, to be honest. It's usually, like, if you don't care about the, the honor of getting hit, you're going to be better off because you want to save your blanks for the boss because there's actually a, conse a bigger consequence for being hit on a boss than there is on just the rooms leading up to it. But still. Think about the honor. Got the gun game. Scattershot can actually, it can help you in the gun game, but it also can make things a little stanky, I think. Unless they've changed it. Okay. 
So it's, it's kind of just like... You can't really aim as well. But it, as a, you know, the benefit of the scatter shot is you're probably gonna be fine. Fine anyways, wow. That one was just my bad. Serious Cannon. Really hope this thing was buffed. Because it's really, really cool looking. I love the shots, the bullets and everything. Like the, uh, the sprite work on the bullets. Oh! What? The hell? That is a great synergy. That's definitely the synergy talking. Or should I say screaming? <laughs> I'm gonna cry, that's so good. Oh my God. I wonder if we had orbital bullets. If we had orbital bullets. God, I'm sorry that I got nothing else to say, but I think I think it the game is speaking for me and the game says And I'm loving it I love it I love that I love that it moves, the sound moves around with it, so you get the, whatever, the Doppler effect or whatever it's called. You know. You know. This. Thank you. Vampire inflation. Plague in the nation. Who needs help when you can have money? This is how we ruin the nation, vampire. You can't just trade $30 for one bite. Think about the the guys who have a 20 health to, to spare. You can't just keep printing shells. All right, we got this. How much do we have saved up? Okay, there's no point to not do this. In fact, this run is so one. It is such a one run, son, that I don't know. I just want to have some fun. We got all this mun. There, let's go down to one, one full heart. Don't need an extra key. That, I mean, I love that the sound doesn't go away in the other room either. <laughs> I shouldn't probably like it as much as I do, but I like it more than I thought I would. Like, I, I liked it right away. How do I still like it? You'd think that the joke would have gotten old. Not to me. Not to old Rito McGee. We love a joke that doesn't know when to quit. Huh. 
Just look at all the people who uh, won't stop telling me that. <laughs> that the pilot starter is the strongest weapon in the game. We love a joke that doesn't know when to stop. Uh, we don't really need the ability to steal anymore. So I think I'm actually just going to keep the bombs. Why not? Gives us uh, a way to get into secret rooms if we're at a little bomber and blanks. And it has a guaranteed use. I don't know. I don't just don't really use the smoke bombs in their normal way. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? What? It shoots a closet? It shoots a closet. Oh, shoot. I thought I had... Oh, man. I thought I had a blank yet. Oh, I thought that maybe we could shoot out a whole bunch of them. We have so many things that are run-winningly strong. This is so stupid. I love it. Who needs meat bound? Oh, synergy. Okay, I don't know what happens with this. With the synergy, but... I am not going to go this time because I have to go to the bathroom severely. And the show must go on. So I'm going to say, for my bladder's sake, no thank you. So what is this synergy? We we may have a hard time telling on this run with Scattershot and everything. And maybe even with, uh, with Shadow Bullets might make things a little bit harder to tell. That is... I... I... Don't know if I'll ever get sick of it. Just like all all caps. This is my favorite favorite quote from Gungeon. All caps. A a a a a a a a a a a a a. There we go. It's gold. It's gold, man. I love the big rooms where he. I really love it in the big rooms. Where they just they just keep running around. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best joke in the game. Bar none. Oh my god, what synergy is this? I gotta know. My guess is Angry Bullets. My guess is Angry Bullets, which alone will maybe make me pick up Angry Bullets. Also, maybe they're good now. Who knows? We need to fill up that one shot. What if we ran out? That would be disastrous. Ah! Yeah, Gunslinger is pretty nuts. Can you, can you tell why? Maybe it's the fact that... Uh, it's so easy to get a game-breakingly strong synergy. I dig it, though. I dig it. Ah! That sounds more like a foghorn. How are you alive? Okay, there we go. How did you live for those few seconds? Seconds. Seconds. Sextants. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Oh. And we might as well fill up with the health here. Broccoli. Extra damage, extra movement speed, extra health. Extra crispy. Extra garlic. Whoop. Maybe a little cheese on top. I don't know if I'm if I'm feeling if I'm feeling frisky, but honestly they don't need it. It doesn't need it. If you if you need cheese on the top of your broccoli, no shame, no shame. But uh, you're probably not. May oh, 
probably not making it the best the best way you could then if you think it requires it don't get me wrong it's fun to dabble it's fun to do it here and there but it's also a crutch you can you can make some dang good broccoli without it just throw some garlic throw some salt throw some pepper put it on the put it in the pan maybe use some lemon juice get it in there Oop. Maybe you got a suit going. I love that it doesn't really matter which gun we're using because you could argue that every single gun we have, I'm wasting the ammo for it. Like, because it's too good on a normal run. But the thing is, Commando is a very, very strong gun, and maybe it's our strongest gun, but also, what about our other five strongest guns? Like, we don't need to conserve ammo for bosses, I can tell you that much, because the uh, Hyperlight Blaster is going to be gonna be the weapon of choice for all bosses it's wild Ugh. I wish they would have made that one a little bit less whiny so much info is being thrown so fast I'm sorry to the gun initiated but yeah there's a, a lot of synergies happening that I'm not even a hundred percent sure what they all are this one has a synergy with the ruby bracer ruby bracelet And we're going to be back up at full health in no time. What's in there? Two... Oh, okay. Two glass stones. Don't care. Pea Shooter's actually a banger on Gunslinger. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Science can. Synergy. Yep. I mean, I should just pretty much assume that most all of them have synergies. There's only a few in the game that don't, as far as I know. And they are very, very few and far between. Oop, we could try to use the, uh, the bomb as a bit of a defensive tool. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you can see, like, the dueling laser does a lot of damage. And we're definitely hitting the damage cap because it's, like, not even doing that much right now. Oh. Okay. We definitely want to want to use it tactfully. Like, we're going to want to use it on our, on our reload or something. So that we can try to one cycle, but I'm not too worried about it. If we don't one cycle, we don't one cycle. This is pretty, pretty cut and dry and easy win. Likely from the moment we picked Gunslinger. Like people are saying that bullet is a crutch, bullet's too easy. Oh boy, you have not seen this one yet apparently. Ah! Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Thank goodness. All right. Danger Nick asks, what class and race did you play as in D&D? I was, for race, I was always a gnome. I was always a gnome and usually a very, very young one or a very, very old one. Uh, but as far as class, I, I played a lot of time, well, a lot of, di in a lot of different instances, but I never, never played that much of each character. The one I probably played, played the most time in was a gnome, like a gnome druid type character, a forest, a f forest gnome druid type thing. His name was, no, I was going to say it was Mary Doc Brandybuck, but no, that's the name of Mary from uh, from Lord of the Rings. It was Mary, no, Rigbin Stumpart. Rigbin Stumpart was his name. He was a young child. Let me tell you the, t let me spin you the web of Marion, of, uh, no, Rigbin Stumpart. Marion was a different one. Marion was, uh, was a hunter or something? I don't know. I'll spin you the web that is Rigman Stumpart's tragic tale. 
I, if I can remember it, because it's been a long time. He was a young gnome living in the forest, Rigman Stumpheart. And, uh, I don't remember his story. He always wanted to be a druid, something like that. His, I think his, uh, his mom got sick or something. And then he... Or no, 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 his mom died, his dad got sick. He was supposed... Like, his, he kept taking care of his dad. And then one day a druid w came to the village, I think. Something like that. And... He learned some the ways of the druids in a, in a little bit. I think I don't, I'm 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 pulling out of my butt. But then his dad was anti-druid, and he kept wanting him to stay and and take care of him. But then Rigbin, the stone cold equivalent of a twelve year old gnome, the stone cold absolute jerk in a way he was he left his father his his sick father in the middle of the night never to return what a what a, what a ruthless ruthless young 12 year old he was and he went to to learn the ways of being a druid and he never never w went to find out again if his if his father was okay that's the web I don't know if, like, I don't think that it, it's, I've always spent more time developing my character than I have actually, like, ending up playing Dungeons and Dragons, but, uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun to get into the world of it, and I think the thing is, like, the generic story would normally go that you, you know, you, you, you think your character's supposed to then stay and then something bad happens to the father and then you want to avenge, etc., etc., but you know, where's the characters that are total jerks? You, you know, in in some way, like they're they're norm, like for the most part they're relatable. But they, to be relatable, you also like you gotta have a flaw too. Like this stone cold jerk. You know, like leaving a sick father that was like not not even that bad as far as I remember. <laughs> Making your character the 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 jerk in the its own story is kind of I don't know. It's I think it's refreshing to be honest. And then you play from there. It gives them room to grow. A lot of people, when they make Dungeons & Dragons characters, they want to make it so they're already, like, in a way, they're at the end of their growth cycle. And you can say that with a lot of people who want to make stories about characters that they think are cool. But the thing is, the characters become a lot more cool if you get to see why they got to the point where they... Like, why they grew in the first place. Like, what... Ah! Where they grew in the first place... And, like, how, how they got to that point, you know, knowing that they had to surmise that it wasn't an easy trek. They weren't already a, a B.A. son of a gun. They had to, like, learn some of the things that they'd done wrong and get better at it. I think that's a way more interesting character. Ah! Ah! So, I, yeah, I, I still don't know what the goner gun synergy is, but if we get hit with it, we do gain our health back if we get that skull come on where are you lich i gotta go to the bathroom something fierce this is gonna be me running to the bathroom afterwards <laughs> we can use like anything we got so much good stuff this run like even by i think a gunslinger standard this run is stacked it's insane. Like, we got all our health back, effectively, and we just... We gave all of it to the vampire, and we still are gonna be fine. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, I hope. Hup! Hup! Where are you? Don't know what the science can synergy is. I thought there was a cooler one than this, to be honest. Hello! I'm you, maybe? Still don't fully know. I should know. I've, I've never, like, deeply invested in the lore. Oh, as much as I probably should, considering how many, much time I put into the game. Like, 800 hours, and I don't know the, the lore, really. 
It's pretty surprising, I guess. We almost had to do a full clear there. Just missed one room over there, one there, maybe two here. Effectively a full clear. They didn't really tweak bullet hell. I thought that they might. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, alright. Can we get a no hit run? <laughs> On the lich, at least. What if I what if I just like thought this whole time I hadn't been hit? I just woke up from a, a mid mid run coma. I'm like, oh wait a minute. What run is this? What year is this? Is this the supply drop update? Oh. oh my goodness. If I could see what's happening now at the time of the supply drop update, I'd be so excited. Because there's, there's like features from every little update going on right now. Oh. Except maybe the payday one. No, even the payday one. The balloon gun was in there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Alas! We have slain the Vlitch once more! Easy... Like Sunday morning. But that is gonna do it for today. If you are not subscribed, remember to hit that button and you'll get videos in your feed. Hopefully in your feed, you're supposed to. Uh, every single day when I upload Enter the Gungeon and more. Hit the bell if you really don't want to miss anything, I guess. Like, I, I think that might be required nowadays to, to, to actually see stuff. It's wild. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation if you want to catch me streaming Enter the Gungeon and more live. And that is going to do it. Join the Discord if you want to ask questions or just talk about the game, get help, etc., etc. See you next time. I'm hitting the bathroom.